Hi everybody, Alexander here from Monad. Um, I just wanted to give you a quick overview, uh, hopefully in a very brief condensed version of kind of what we did earlier with the overview of the tool I'm working on, because I realize not everyone has uh, 27 minutes to watch a, a poorly paced video. So we'll try to get into this in under five minutes. Okay, let's go. So you can head over to uh, monadpool.com slash cardano.html, and this is what you should see when you arrive there. Um, first thing I like to do is pop out the legend, which kind of updates depending on what layer you're on to see what are, what are you looking at. So these individual dots all represent individual relays on the Cardano network. And the color actually represents um, for the pool that they're a part of, whether or not are the number of uh, relays that that pool has registered on the chain. So you can see that. And as you can see here, when you mouse over things, you see the pool ticker, their homepage, number of relays, their pledge, total stake, min fee, basic stats you might want to know if you're trying to find something. One thing that you'll find here that you don't find in, I think, many other places is the infrastructure provider. So um, I've kind of made these more recognizable names for the large providers like AWS, Google Cloud Platform as GCP, um, what are something like Linode, DigitalOcean. I've cleaned those up a bit for the top like six providers or so. And uh, if you're trying to click on another relay that happens to be in the same latitude longitude, you do get this other pools here, which will at least give you the ticker of other relays that are in this location. So if you're having trouble result clicking on a, a relay, you can at least see this kind of thing. And maybe um, you can use that to add filters or explore other relays near you um, on like a pool tool IO or something. To get into the main other features of this thing, you click this little uh, greater than sign over here which will pop open this control panel and uh, you can turn on and off these individual layers they're called. So let's hide this current layer. We're left with just a, a bare map and we can turn on the stake density layer. Stake density uh, tries to represent the amount of ADA staked in each region. And what we do, how we do this is we take the total stake of each pool, we divide by the number of relays it has, and then each relay gets um, assigned uh, a proportionate number uh, of ADA to that cell. There's an airplane going on overhead. So we can turn on relay density. This is a, a simpler count. This is just counting the number of relays in each region. And you can kind of see, you know, uh, Frankfurt has 380 relays or, or where, where is this? That's not Newfoundland, but somewhere uh, Hudson Bay or something like that in Canada has one relay so you can do that and what I like to do what I've done more recently in the update is kind of shrink the stake um, cell region to be slightly uh, less than the actual region it's covering so what this allows you to do is in in one visualization directly compare the number of relays against the amount of ADA staked in each region and that way you can see um, interesting things like uh, where there might be a large number of relays that have less ADA staked in them or um, a, lar a small number of relays with a disproportionate amount of ADA staked in them. So in this DC zone is, uh, is one of those. Let's see. And uh, So, yep, that's that. And the last thing I think we can cover quickly is the first two purple visualizations give you an overview of the entire network as it exists today. But if you want to know just what's changing, you can use these two stake change and relay change um, layers to kind of see what changed from last epoch to this epoch. And uh, again, the inner cell represents the amount of ADA in that region, and the outer cell represents the number of relays. This is a little bit tricky because most relays don't have any change, and the underlying uh, Kepler GL library I'm using to implement this website doesn't allow me to control the binning of the buckets exactly. So a lot of this looks green, but just be aware that unless it's a dark green, that kind of corresponds to a number between zero and one. So either a very little change or less change. So just leave it like that. And what you can see is like in this area, I don't know, in uh, close to upstate New York, um, both relays and the amount of ADA dropped. Here in what is this, somewhere in Texas maybe, the number of relays dropped, but the amount of ADA grew in that region. And what's what's the other use case, uh, case where a number of relays grows, uh, maybe in Arizona, number of relays grew, but the amount of ADA slightly dropped or stayed the same. 
Let's see if we can find ah here maybe here this is a better thing um, over in main ish area relays grew and ADA dropped so that's how you kind of get through this quickly um, all these layers can be individually modified and played with you can change what's going on but we'll leave that for uh, maybe a more advanced or intermediate tip video thanks for watching have a good one bye bye